Hi guys, Jared here and welcome to my YouTube channel and today pag-uusapan natin ng 10 tips to consider if you're going to record your song for the first time. Stay tuned! So kung bago ka sa channel na to, please subscribe and enable my notification bell para makareceive ka ng mga latest updates sa aking new contents. So kung first time mo mag-record or if you're planning to record your first song as a band or as an artist, uh, here are the 10 tips that you need to consider. Number one, make plan with your music producer or sound engineer. Kung kinakailangan yung mag-meeting muna regarding to your song project, uh, mas mainam yun dahil makakatulong ito para mas maintindihan nyo yung gusto nyong tahakin within your record, like yung sound, progression nyo, at anything related to that song or project. So on other hand naman, pwede kayong bigyan ng tips, tricks, at mga ideas ng music producer nyo kung ano yung pwede nang i-impart dun sa recording nyo and at the end of the day, we wanted to make sure na nagkakintindihan kayo para malesin yung time makapag-record kayo ng smoothly dun sa record studio So number two to consider is be prepared as an artist or a band Number one dyan is mag-practice kayo, mag-rehearse kayo yung mga kanta na i-record nyo Pangalawa, uh, plan siya yung mabuti yung lyrics, yung tono nyo mga dynamics, mga areglo, dapat uh, maintindihan ng bawat members yun or ikaw mismo if you're just a solo artist. So number three to consider is yung uh, gears and instruments nyo. Kailangan nakatono, bagong string, walang problema sa mga guitar effects, cables, and all kind of uh, stuff para maiwasan yung uh, mga unnecessary sound, errors dun sa recording process. So number three is keep within your budget. So kailangan mong Planuhin kung magkano ang budget ang ilalabas mo sa recording process nyo. And uh, karamihan ng recording studio ay naniningil ng per hour basis. We don't want to waste time creating or experimenting kapag nag-recording na kayo sa uh, recording studio. So kailangan planado, uh, plakado at uh, alam nyo na yung mga parts na gagawin nyo para hindi kayo paulit-ulit or hindi kayo nagsasayo ng oras mag-isip kung ano yung mga gagawin nyo in that particular song. Pero not unless if you have money, uh, syempre you can spend more time dun sa recording process nyo para explore pa yung mga other stuff na gusto nyo ilagay dun sa kanta nyo at it's, it's okay. Pero if you're within the budget, please stay prepared sa lahat na oras para hindi sayang yung binabayad nyo. So number four to consider if you're going to record your song is to bring your demos. Kung meron kayong mga recording, it may be a live version of your song, pwede nyo siyang i-present dun sa music engineer it's fine kung medyo hindi siya maganda pero kasi uh, the idea of that is to make sure na naiintindihan ng music engineer nyo yung gusto nyo mangyari dun sa song kung gano'n siya kabilis kung gano'n siya ka-progressive so it's okay to bring your own demos para mas uh, lumabas pa yung tunog na gusto nyo mangyari number 5 is references so medyo resemblance to sa number 4 pero this time you can send or bring your favorite album or song na sikat or yung nasa mainstream na or a uh, specific band that you think ini-idolize mo sila sa tunog, sa lyrics and other related stuff within their music. So it's okay, i-present nyo rin siya sa music producer para maintindihan niya kung ano yung tinatahak yung mood ng kanta at yung type of uh, music na gusto nyo mangyari. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa number 6 of things to consider if you're going to record your song for the first time, this video is sponsored by DitoMusic.com. So, ang DitoMusic.com is a music digital platform distributor na tumutulong sa mga artists, sa mga bands, and recording label na i-distribute ng mga kanta nila worldwide like Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Deezer, and other music digital platforms worldwide. So, sa halagang 249 pesos per year for your first billing, you can get one artist package na pwede ka na mag-release ng unlimited songs, albums within a year. So, mag-iiwan ako ng link sa description. You can check it out yourself. And I wanted to hear your song once na ma-publish siya sa mga digital music platform. So, number six, don't mess up. So, what I mean about this is, uh, if you're going to record in a record studio, please make sure hindi kayo nakainom, hindi kayo naka-drugs or marijuana or other influences dahil pumunta kayo sa recording studio na yun para mag-record at gumawa ng isang masterpiece and you don't want to waste that time para lang mag or manggulo lang or uh, magtawanan lang. Pero dito kasi sa recording process, 
is kailangan dito yung isip mo is malinaw, uh, yung creative mind mo is at 100% at least dahil kung nakasabu ka na or alam mo yun kung wala ka sa wisho mo, hindi mo siya magagawa ng maayos. Nowadays, kailangan talaga yung pag-iisip natin is clear at walang other influences dahil masama yun, syempre. At nakakaya naman sa sound engineer or producer nyo na ganun yung itsura nyo pag punta nyo sa recording studio. So number seven that you need to consider if you're going to record in a recording studio, ito yung pinakagusto ko sa lahat eh. Don't let get the recording sessions get too crowded. So, maraming sumasablay dito at lagi kong iniisis to kapag may magre-record dito sa aking home recording studio dahil unang-una yung space ko medyo maliit lang. At pangalawa, maraming sumasama minsan na hindi involved sa recording process at nanggugulo lang. So, yun yung iniiwasan natin dahil unang-una uh, napaka-sensitive or napaka-precious ng uh, recording process para lang ano, masayang. So, Unang-una, hindi ka magiging 100% focus if you're the artist or the music producer. So, uh, much better na isama mo lang yung mga involved dun sa band or dun sa kanta na gagawin nyo. Like yung songwriter, kung meron man silang na-contribute sa kanta nyo, mas okay yun na sila yung sasama mo. Uh, rather than a person or people, a group of people na wala namang involvement dun sa kanta. And of course, if they wanted to support you, much better na supportahan nila kayo after na mailabas nyo na yung kanta nyo by uh, streaming it or uh, share nila sa social media nila. Okay yun, mas makakatulong sila sa inyo. So number eight is go with the flow. So some people may think na ang recording process is a uh, natural process. So hindi naman siya ganun. Whether you're recording track by track or uh, full band recording, syempre may kailangan ka rin consider along that uh, recording process. Maybe you're using one particular gear or guitar effects na sa tingin mo hindi siya maganda pakinggan sa recording. You can try different stuff. So when it comes naman sa vocals, kung may mga parts doon na akala mo hindi maganda, pwede mo naman palitan yun. So, kasi ang, ano, ang process kasi ng recording is to be more creative para bago mo siya ilabas sa, sa public. So, kung iniisip nyo naman yung time nyo na mauubos na syempre, uh, ibang usapan naman yun. Pero what I'm saying is, uh, if you're going to record your song, just go with the flow. Uh, trust the process, okay lang yun kung may magkamali minsan. Pero alam mo yun, uh, at the end of the day, you're uh, in a recording studio para mag-enjoy at maintindihan mo yung creative process. So, okay lang yun. Just go with the flow, enjoy the process, and rock on. So, number nine, stay positive. So, may resemblance din to sa number eight, go with the flow. I know yung sa number nine, stay staying positive in a way that uh, it's, it's okay na magkamali ka along the uh, recording process. Hindi naman siya, isang take lang dapat perfect na. Although, sometimes uh, it requires to be like that para maka, uh, save ng time and maka save ng money and energy. So, uh, staying positive in a way that uh, yung mga mali or yung mga kailangang ayusin dun sa recording, it requires to happen. It happens all the time. So, in, kung magkamali ka man, it's okay. Uh, pwede nyo namang ulitin or paano pwede nyo pa siyang pagandahin in other ways that uh, you and the music producer can think of. So, Go lang at huwag mapanginaan ng loob. And if you, if you think you need to step out a little bit, kailangan mong huminga muna uh, outside the studio, it's okay. Uh, kung pwede nyo rin i-postpone muna yung recording process nyo, pwede mong sabihin na let's call it a day and we can go back the other day or tomorrow para ma-refresh yung utak mo. So number 10 to consider if you're going to record your song is enjoy the entire process. Ano man ang mangyari dun sa recording na yun, magkamali ka man ng 100 times, kung hindi man marunong masyado kumanta yung vocalist or back, backing vocals, or mess up naman yung drummer nyo, it's okay. At the end of the day, you're still a group, you are making a masterpiece, and inside the masterpiece, maraming trials, maraming errors na kailangan pagdaanan bago makapunta ron sa pinaka final piece na matatawag mong iyo talaga. So, i-enjoy mo lang kung may pagkakamali, yung creative process, pagdaanan mo yan. Alam ko, uh, some people may uh, think a creative process is enjoyable thing. So, may mga ganong tao ko tulad ko, in-enjoy ko yung mga tries and challenges along that recording process. The more na nahihirapan minsan yung nag-record, the more din akong na-challenge at natutuwa ako sa ganong proseso dahil natututo kami pareho, natututo yung banda, natututo yung artist kung paano mag-record ng tama, kung paano mag-process ng tama sa isang specific song. So, it's okay to uh, enjoy this thing. Although, minasabi ako along this uh, video na kailangan maging seryoso, kailangan maging 
uh, perfect yung kanta pero alam mo yun, uh, at the end of the day, it's an enjoyable thing. So yun ang sampung basic tips or things to consider if you're going to record your song for the first time in a recording studio. I hope nakatulong sa inyo yun at alam ko marami pa akong din na-cover or na ilista ron sa listahan ko. Pero alam mo yun, uh, we can share comments, we can share ideas in the comment section. Gusto ko marinig yung mga insights nyo uh, within that particular idea at para makatulong din sa mga gustong uh, mag-record uh, what they need to expect. And I hope you enjoy that video. Thank you so much sa panonood. And don't forget to subscribe and enable the notification bell. And I'll see you soon. Thank you.